In this video, I'll show you how to export from After Effects with a transparent background. Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru, and I do uh, tutorial videos on audio, video, and photography. So uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment and subscribe. And uh, here inside of After Effects, I've created a simple motion graphic. And I'd like to export this with a transparent background, which is often called an alpha channel. Now, to begin with, I have it on this white background, so I need to hide that. So right here inside of the timeline, I'm going to hide the background layer. Now, it'll look like it's on a black background, but it's actually on a transparent background. And I can confirm that by clicking down here. There's a little button that looks like a checkerboard. That is called the Toggle Transparency Grid button. When I click on that button, I can actually see the transparent pixels as this white and gray checkerboard. And now I can export. So I'm going to go up to File, Export, and we're going to use the Adobe Media Encoder, which is a separate program, but it's often used in conjunction with Premiere Pro and After Effects. So I'm going to select that option. And then here inside of uh, the Media Encoder, I can see the job and it's added into the queue. Now we need to change the format. So right here in the first column, mine says QuickTime. Uh, yours might say H.264, which is often the uh, default format. Um, so whatever it says, just kind of click on the word here in the first column. That'll bring up the export settings dialog box. And the default, which is H.264, is a very common form of compression, which generates an MP4 file. But unfortunately, it does not support an alpha channel, which means you can't have transparent pixels in it. So we have to select a more high-end format, um, such as QuickTime. QuickTime is a very common professional format. And then in the preset menu, uh, we need to choose a proper preset. So one of my favorites is Apple ProRes 4444 with Alpha. That's this one right down here. Um, another very good one is the GoPro Cineform 12-bit with Alpha um, at maximum bit depth. Uh, that's another good one. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to do the Apple ProRes version. Uh, the most important thing is that it says with alpha. And then the key here is to scroll down to the video tab. And then if I scroll down a little bit, there's a setting called render at maximum depth. So I'm going to select that. And then inside of the depth menu, there's an 8 bit per channel plus alpha option and a 16 bit per channel plus alpha option. I'm going to choose a 16 because it's a little bit higher quality. And of course, you want to choose an option that says Alpha. And then a little bit lower, there's a checkbox that says Use Maximum Render Quality. So I'm going to select that. And then to choose the location of the export file, you can click on the output name directly. And then I'm going to choose the Export Folder. And then you can finally click on the OK button. This will bring you back to the main window, and then you still have to click on this little green play button to start the queue. And now the file is exporting. Now I do have a QuickTime file on my computer, and if you were to play this file, it would appear as if this motion graphic is on a black background, but actually it's a transparent background. And so I've set up another After Effects project. So I'm going to open that one. And basically I have a mountain in the background and I want to put my logo over top of it. So I've already imported my uh, motion graphic. So all I have to do is drag it over top of the mountain. And now if I play it, you can see that it's on a transparent background and I'm able to see the background video through the graphic. So this is exactly what I wanted and now it's working great. So hopefully you can see the value of exporting with an alpha channel or a transparent background. Now you can overlay your graphic over top of anything. Uh, so let me know if this works for you or if you have a comment or a question. 
uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, keep learning and growing.